Hey guys, welcome to another new video. I tried some voiceover commentary because I think it's more spontaneous and would explain my thought process better. I hope you guys enjoy. I couldn't record the beginning of the match, but I found out before the game started that these four players all have A badges of their characters. Now that made me very nervous, but I think we can work with this. I find Lawyer, which is incredibly good, he's a decoder, he wouldn't be able to kite me much. Here that didn't hit because of his buffed speed. You know, that little bit really makes the difference. Here I throw the harpoon to my left, and that allows me to trap him in this little area. Here I thought I was going to have to go to the right and hit him, and then he will be able to transition, but instead he goes to the left, and so he gets instant down. I break the pallet here. That's one of the god pallets. I should take care of it first. And now I have a really quick down. I know all of the ciphers are being decoded. I don't want them to sell and then try to go for a tie here. So I go out and try to disrupt the ciphers. Because there is tinnitus, I'm afraid to go too far, but then I lose it when I come back in this area. So I'm unsure where the person is and if they are indeed going for the rescue. Nyad is an easy hunter to be tied against because once she eliminates the first person, three ciphers are done, there's two ciphers left, and if you don't get your second chase and second down quickly, you are going to end up with a tie. Here I'm trying incredibly hard to find a cipher to disrupt. The chair time is already after half, so I'm not afraid of anyone rescuing anymore. Here I realized my tinnitus was coming from batter cipher in the second floor, and nobody's coming to rescue, so I try to disrupt the cipher which has a lot of progress. Postman is starting a new one in the middle. Here Batter is a really hard target to chase and he do gets on the tram so I go for another target. Don't want to get distracted and kited because it's important for me to control the map in middle game. Here Postman did not go to the left as I thought so I wasted our harpoon. That's okay though, let's follow through. Here he's going through the pallets, I take a shortcut and that allows me to get a hit on him. He fails the flywheel. It's really hard to a flywheel against a naiad. Her attack speed is 0.27 seconds, the second fastest in the game, so you can't really react against that. He is down with a terror shock. Here I know they're missing two ciphers. Now you might ask, Wallace has 3 ciphers remaining. Well that's because Batter's cipher is nearly finished, so you must not get tricked into thinking you have much more time than you actually have. I wanted to water up the second floor, but it didn't quite work. However, Batter was really desperate to finish his cipher and gives me a free hit. That was the biggest mistake because now he can't rescue. Do you hear that batter? That's the tram coming. You should get off the tracks. Oh, this is ominous. This is super ominous. I stay by the chair because I don't want Doctor to freely rescue against me. Oh, and he's gonna get hit. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I totally planned that. Now using my full presence, I'm able to dash back to post in and catch up a lot of distance. Trying to body block, but come on, you're you're lacking so much distance, it's not gonna work. Here I get bitten by his puppy. Honestly, I've always thought it was super cute. Here I thought he was gonna try to go to the second floor and vault that window. But then he jumps down, and so now he's kind of screwed. Here I adjusted my camera, and so my hitbox was bigger, and I got him. To go for this cipher over here, which was being decoded. 
Batter's trying really hard to hide. It's not happening. I know you're there, buddy. He tries to go into this hiding area. It doesn't work. It's already watered off. It's a game of chess. You have to predict in advance where they're trying to go. Here I'm not going to chair him back at his cypher. Instead, I'm going to come to this chair, which disrupts the cypher that Doc is working on. Now this chair is an incredibly strong one for Nyad because it doesn't have any hiding areas, it's incredibly open. We're going to try to rescue against the full presence Nyad. Come on Doc, it's not happening. And this is why you should have a proper rescuer in a match. I brought patroller just because there wasn't one. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you on the next one.